Hey everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to the next episode in the Blueberry series. A series designed to help teach game mechanics, tactics, and strategies for heroes and generals. Now, currently we are doing a series of videos based around the spawn vehicles. We are discussing each faction's spawn vehicles. We are going to be discussing things to avoid with them, and we are going to be discussing where and how to use them on specific maps. Last week, we discussed the German spawn vehicles, the Blitz truck, and the 251. For this week, we're going to go to the Soviets, where we discuss the Gaz and the lend -Lease M3. So today, we're going to be discussing the Gordkovsky, or the Gaz. Now, the Gaz is unlocked at Chauffeur Ribbon Level 3. It costs 32,000 credits and 375 gold. The Gaz also comes in several different camouflages. The Vesugan Light, the Kutuzov Two-Tone, and the All Flash No Substance. The Gaz has two equipment slots for supply crates. The ammo crate is unlocked at Specialist Level 1, the Medic crate at Specialist Level 5, and the Anti-Tank at Specialist Level 9. Their prices are 1,300 credits or 15 gold for the ammunition, 4,400 credits or 52 gold for the Medic, and 7,500 credits or 90 gold for the anti-tank. Next, we are going to be talking about the lend least M3 half-track. The M3 unlocks at Chauffeur Ribbon Level 9. It costs 79,000 credits or 950 gold. The M3 also has two different camouflages, the Vesugan Light and the Kutuzov Two-Tone. The M3's armament consists of a single ring-mounted Browning M2 heavy barrel. This is a 50 caliber machine gun that is highly effective against infantry and light vehicles. While it is armed, it only has one equipment slot for a supply crate. Again, you unlock the ammunition crate at Specialist Level 1, the Medic crate at Specialist Level 5, and the anti-tank crate at Specialist Level 9. The prices remain the same as on the GAS itself. Finally, we're going to compare these two side by side. The GAS and the M3 both can carry nine soldiers. The GAS is unarmored and has no armament, while the M3 is armored and it carries a single M2HB. The GAS has two equipment slots over the M3's one equipment slot. The GAS's acceleration is faster than the M3. On the road, it is slightly faster than the M3 is. And off-road, they are about the same, except when you go into mud where the M3 takes the lead. Once again, let's take a look at the pricing for these units. In credits, the GAS costs 32000 while the M3 costs 79000 in gold, the gas costs 375, while the M3 costs 950. The spawn cost for each of these vehicles in credits is 166 for the gas and 386 for the M3. The gas also has a smaller maintenance load, which means you will have to wait a shorter period of time to put it back onto the field. Now, let's talk about how to destroy these vehicles. The transmission on the gas is in between the two rear wheels and can be easily hit from behind. The engine is easily destroyed by shooting at the grill or from either side or from the top. The fuel tank is behind the engine and in front of the windscreen. It is easily destroyed, so just aim at the fuel cap. While anti-tank weapons can be used, destroying a gas is very easy with an assault rifle or any of the machine guns.
If you see an M3 in motion and you have a rocket, you can target its tracks or its front wheels to help disable it. This will allow you to get to its more critical components. While you can always damage it no matter where you shoot it, because it is an armored vehicle, you should avoid targeting this back section. There are far easier ways to take out this vehicle than to punch through the armor. First off, we're going to talk about the engine. Now, you could attack the engine from either side or above, but with the M3, this should be avoided. These are armored areas and you will not do the damage you are looking for. You want to attack it by shooting through the grate on the grill. This is where you will do the most damage to the engine. The fuel tanks are these two boxes on either side. Aim for the circle in the middle and they will go quickly. While anti-tank weapons can be used to destroy the M3, it is much easier to destroy it with an assault rifle or a machine gun. Target the gas tanks first on either side and then shoot through the grill on the radiator and you will have it out of the way in no time. I hope today's video helped anyone out that was having questions about the gas or the M3 for the Soviets. Or if you're not Soviet, how to blow either of those up. If you have further questions or you have a question you would like me to cover, please leave it in the comments below or find me on our stream or on our Discord. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button and to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.